So as you mentioned, I've been working on this feature around GPU access. Uh, I think during the last community call, it was very early. Uh, I was doing a lot of investigation on how it works, like how even the Docker is able to um, access GPUs and so on. And I have some some kind of slides. They are short. I think the code will be funnier, but let me share it. Uh, so yeah, you should be able to see the slides, right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, first iterations were focused around uh, the NVIDIA container toolkit. Like they have a lot of docs, like a very nice overview of how this, this works. Uh, they support like different container runtimes and so on. Um, so yeah, basically like like the main the main thing here is that um, whenever you create a container, they give you a hook that you should run before the container is started. So that's like the the main logic or, or, or the main scenario that um, you have to tackle. So uh, this is kind of a diagram of how it works. Um, like we have run C here, creating a container. This is the runtime hook that should run before the container is started. And I did some initial experiment around this. So basically just creating a very simple repository where I create like a cont container specification, like OCI spec, and I, add this hook like very in a like in a very manual way and then I inspect what happens before I run the hook like after I run the, I run the hook like what are the file system changes uh, like what are the environment variable changes and everything so this was kind of some exploration of what this little uh, tool that Nvidia provides uh, does so that was the main idea um, in case you are familiar with o OCI spec uh, this is kind of how you set a hook and you can tell the container runtime, run uh, you should run this hook in, in this particular stage uh, of the of the flow. In this case, it will run before the container is started. And yeah, so in Dyer, we actually have a very similar step. Like we have uh, this component like the shim and we do the container, the, the container creation there. Like we have some spec and basically I just plug this hook in there and it didn't work out of the box because multiple reasons. So one of the reasons was, for example, that uh, we are using Alpine as our base image and Alpine doesn't use glibc. Uh, there were a lot of incompatibilities all over the place. And so it was kind of a mess. Like I did a lot of debugging. I was at the beginning, I was trying to mount like uh, the NVIDIA tooling from the host machine into the container into the en engine's container and then reuse it from there. So like, like different experiments around this. Uh, and it turned out that it was way easier to switch our base image from Alpine to Ubuntu. And this raised some discussion on GitHub and also on Discord because we maybe we don't really want to drop Alpine. Maybe it's, good, it's very minimal. But uh, the NV NVIDIA Container uh, Toolkit, they officially support Ubuntu, they officially support like uh, CentOS and so on, and they do not support like Alpine in an official way. Uh, so the way we solve this at the moment is basically if you have GPU access enabled, I will show you later, there is like a, an environment variable, a flag. Um, only if you enable GPU access as an environment variable, then you will be using Ubuntu as the base image and not Alpine. So that what well, that's one of the ideas. Um, this is what what I just mentioned. Uh, let me see. So yeah, I did a lot of testing. Uh, I kind of implemented a very simple like SDK method. We have this with GPU because the idea was that um, you you should be able to do something like container dot with GPU. I want to use a specific GPU. I want to use everything like all the, all our available GPUs and so on. Uh, so I added this. Uh, SDK SDK me method, and um, yeah, I have some code to share, but let me, yeah, just to give you an idea of the syntax and how you would be creating like a container with GPU access, uh, we have like this, this is how it looks. Um, so let me see. Yeah, I will just like, wrap up this part about the limitation and why it's next, and then I can show you some code and some, some demos. So basically there is a limitation, uh, like we have a lot of network related code and a lot of that code uh, is very much related to Alpine, 
Like we have like CNI plugins. We have like different stuff that we even build in Alpine, and then then we uh, plug that into the engines container. And I think we have to rework a lot of that so that it can work on Ubuntu. So I'm currently debugging and doing like different experimentation around how we can tackle this. So for now, if you disable like like service containers and a, a lot of a, a lot of service like service containers use a lot of like DNS functionality, like some networking functionality. So if you disable that, then you can use GPU access. And this is how I, I've been testing this. And we had a discussion a few days ago, I think, like earlier this week about um, how we should solve this and some path that we should take. So I think this is one limitation. I think this is kind of impor very important. Uh, I think service containers will be very nice um, for this machine learning flows and, and different use cases. So yeah, I think this is like the main limitation for now. And what is next after this? I think there are some ideas. Uh, I think some suggested some ideas around um, like memory limits and how can we add more settings to uh, the, the GPU access and how it behaves. And I think that it will be very easy to add more stuff, more stuff on top of this. Uh, like we have like the structure, we have like some working uh, code as well. And yeah, if you have any ideas or any feedbacks or you want to learn more about the internal. I think I could do like a more internal presentation at some point. Like I kind of enjoyed researching this topic and, and it was very fun. Um, let me check the chat. Oh yeah, there's a. Yeah, I think you're good for questions. Casper was talking about considering the ca uh, capabilities hook. Um, is that's what Docker Compose, Compose uses for this. Um, and yeah, I can share the, the slides as well. I think someone asked about the slides, right? Awesome, Matias. And then did you uh did you have a did you mention also a demo that you wanted to share or did... Yes, I will share my terminal. Give me a sec. So yeah, so this is like a I don't really have like like any NVIDIA GPU like on, on my local box on at home. So I've been using like a, a GPU in every instance and at the moment. This is running like two P4000 or something like that. Let me show you. So uh, I think it was like this. So yeah, it's like P4000. So we have like two GPUs here. Uh, this is on cloud, this is paper space. And uh, actually I need to show, I will share the full screen because yeah, you see the full screen, it's fine, right? Yes, perfect. Okay, so uh, I have some code here. Um, yeah, th this grew a lot. I think we had like 100 lines at some point, like very simple testing scenario. And something we discussed a few weeks ago was also like, uh, can we actually run something like something that uses GPU uh, from Python or something? So I'm not really familiar with the use case. So I've been just looking at tutorials and so on. and. Uh, maybe some people that are in the space are familiar with PyTorch and they had this nice sample, like doing some computations on the GPU. Uh, like as you see here, uh, by default on their, on their sample, they, they use the CPU. So I changed that. And basically I embedded this tensor sample in, in, the, in the integration test. Uh, so as you can see here, we are using like the first available uh, CUDA device and then I'm just testing that there is some output from here. Uh, it's all like non-deterministic. So it's like um, generating some random input and doing some computations. So I cannot really like test that it returns what we are expecting because it's random. But uh, basically I'm just looking for something that um, it should th throw some result and not throw any error basically. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm using some Docker image from PyTorch. I'm not sure what is the base image they are using for this container. Maybe CentOS, maybe it's Ubuntu as well, uh, as uh, the, the same the, the same distro that we are using for the base image when GPU access is enabled. I will talk a bit more about this and, and the base image and some uh, ideas around this, but basically I'm using PyTorch, latest image available. Uh, I'm writing this tensor sample into a file and then I'm just calling it and then I just check if there is some result. And of course this is cache, but 
uh, let, let me run it. And there is another test as well where I test like there is this CUDA is available method they provide. And then I just check that it returns true. So I'm just logging the output from Python here. And this is the output of the computation, like the, the tensors. And yeah, so this actually is some Python code running, accessing the GPU from inside the R container and so on. And then I have some more testing here, so some more tests here. Um, and I will talk a, a bit about this. This is important. I think it was like a big discussion uh, on the internal side, side of things. Uh, so basically we have a base image that it's, that, that is Ubuntu at the moment. And this means that uh, the base image is Ubuntu and we have, we need to have like all the NVIDIA container runtime available at the base image, but this is not, um, it strictly doesn't mean that uh, we have to run or, or that we can only run containers that are based in the same image, basically. So just to ensure that this is uh, this scenario works, uh, I'm I'm doing like different tests here. So for example, uh, I'm testing like a CUDA based image that is CentOS. Uh, I think another one is like Rocky Linux or something like that, and they they all work fine. So this means you should be able to maybe if you want if you are doing something with pytorch you can use like any cuda based image you, you want and it should work fine uh, so i just added this testing matrix that to try different versions different distros and so on and yeah i added some tests for specific gpus as well as i mentioned you can define like i want to use gpu zero i want to use gpu one and also it's important to mention that the the engine's container is able to access all gpus and then we can restrict the access from the dagger container itself. So it's different, right? The main engine's container it has access to all GPUs, full visibility. And then when we create a dagger container, we can restrict that. So we only enable access to a particular GPU. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if there are, uh, there are questions or, or around this maybe. Yeah, I think that's it.